today in Ludington. We are at House of Flavors and we are going to speak with Barry Neal, the owner of House of Flavors. So Barry, can you tell us about the history of House of Flavors? Sure, you know, back in the 30s, there were dairies all around counties because there wasn't any refrigeration. So they were doing things with ice. So, you know, my grandfather came here in about 1947, and this was then Park Dairy because of its proximity to the park, which is right next door to us. All right, so uh, in 47, my family became involved and are still involved today. Um, it's two separate companies. There's an ice cream manufacturing company. We're a private label manufacturer, do about 30 million gallons a year. Um, and then we have the restaurant here in Ludington and one in Manistee that uh, is my responsibility. So third generation, actually I have my daughter who's the fourth generation working with us, so that's exciting. What has it taken to run a business this long and what is the kind of dedication that goes along with, you know, keeping the customers and the business going? You know, my grandparents and my parents raised me to say that work hard and keep your focus and good things happen. And um, you know, so we have a real dedication to the communities that we do business in. Um, that we believe it takes a community uh, to be successful. Um, and we work hard. We, we work really hard. I liken us actually to farmers a little bit, only in that, you know, we work all fall and winter to prepare for harvest that comes in the summer. And a uh, majority of our living comes in July and August when people have time to travel and choose our communities as the destinations they want to visit. So I think uh, the dedication is about work hard. And, um, you know, I'm honored to be able to be the next generation that carries this forward and take that really very responsible, very responsive, excuse me, I take the responsibility very seriously. Um, so I think work hard. And then you, you asked earlier a little question about the decorations. and. You know, it was simpler in the 50s, and uh, Life magazine um, published a photo of my grandfather in 1953, which is the story of why we have straws on our ceilings. So, and he was a neat freak, really liked things to be tidy, and kids used to dip their straws with the paper on them in their milkshakes, and then they would blow them up on the ceiling when he was looking the other way. And so he had, that happened a lot, and if he caught you, he would kick you out. So uh, it, he actually had the ceilings all cleaned and repainted, because imagine crystallized ice cream on your ceiling. Not real good for a guy that is a bit of a neat freak. So he had gotten them all cleaned up and repainted, and then Life Magazine called and said, we've heard about this phenomenon. We'd like to come and shoot a photograph. So um, I believe it was September 21st, 1953. I actually have a couple of those magazines in the restaurants. And uh, they came, and there's a picture of my grandfather <laughs> scowling, which I notice as straw papers are going up on the ceiling. So the 50s to us has been a time that we really decorate with in our restaurants. We have, you know, half people with poodle skirts and saddle shoes on. We have a lot of memorabilia in both stores that was personal to both Manistee and Mason County that go back into the dairy industries. We have an extensive collection of glass milk bottles when they used to actually deliver milk by horse, which my grandfather had, you know, a team of people that did that. Um, so we liken it to that we, we really want to represent simpler times in how we approach our customers, in the food that we prepare. Um, we really try to be very friendly, very service oriented, um, more family than customers. Wow, that is a lot of information and it's wonderful, <laughs> it's wonderful information. I mean the decorations are, I mean they're awesome. Um, so there are a lot of ice cream flavors as you mentioned. Um, are you planning on having anything, you know, pumpkin flavored as we go into fall here? We do. We'll have pumpkin pie ice cream beginning uh, early October um, and then we carry that through and then we get into eggnog and spumoni and candy cane. So we try and introduce, you know, two or three feature flavors we call them throughout the season that sort of fit the time of year that we're in. And you know, you talked about ice cream recipes. We actually make over 3,000 different kinds of vanilla ice cream, which that seems, how could you ever do that and why? But you know, there's coloring and vanilla bean and vanilla bean in the ice cream and vanilla bean not in the ice cream. And um, so yeah, we have uh, a team of people that work in manufacturing that their job is to come up with the recipes and find recipes in other locations that we can create. Um, it's a great fun business. Well, that is, I mean, I think it's fun and, and tasty and everything else. I love ice cream probably like many of our viewers too. 
Um, well, thank you very much. I'm Marlena Scarborough in Lettington with My News 26.